Hi, Peter Rears from Rock Rex here. Today I just want to do a wee video showing uh, how to assemble one of our vertical bike racks when you get it. Um, so we'll just go through all the components, the parts, and show you the easiest way to assemble them. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is just lay out all the parts, the bolts and the components, and just sort of make sure you've got everything there and uh, get them all organised to bolt the rack together. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is take your set of assembly instructions which are provided with the rack, which I've got in my hand here. Uh, and it's got a list of all the parts, the bolts and components that um, you need to assemble the rack. So what you want to do is lay out all the parts and just cross them off the assembly instructions to make sure you've got everything. Uh, and then you're ready to start assembling. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is take the vertical mast and base assembly, which is all pre-assembled, ready to uh, bolt everything onto. Now, if you've bought one of our storage stands to go with the rack, it's probably easiest to assemble the rack with the base uh, mounted in that. But if you haven't, the easiest place to do it is on your vehicle. So the first thing you want to do is remove your removable hitch tow bar from your vehicle to allow the rack to be inserted in. So I'm just going to do that on our vehicle here now. Um, there'll be a locking nut generally on most vehicles underneath, so you'll want to undo that with a crescent. I've already done that, so it's ready to come out. So it's just a case of removing the pin and pulling out your removable hitch tow bar. So there we have it, we're now ready to start assembling our rack. Okay, uh, we've got our rack, mast, base and hitch uh, all ready to go. The rack comes already bolted together like you see here. It also comes with a uh, plate and U-bolt hitch lock uh, assembly. Um, that won't be bolted together, I've just pre-bolted it together ready to go. So it's easier to do that before you put it on, but it, it doesn't have to be done uh, at first. So it's easier just to slip that over before you put the rack in, and then it's just a case of putting the rack into your hitch receiver. Okay, and now there are two holes on your hitch mount uh, on the rack. Uh, depending on how deep your hitch receiver is, um, it's best to go for the, uh, for the deepest a hole you can fit it in, but some hitch receivers won't allow that, they're just too shallow. This vehicle will. And we are now providing the rack with an uh, internal nut and a bolt system just to take out the, uh, all the movement in your hitch receiver. So it's a case of lining the hole up. And doing up the bolt. Okay, so we've got our, uh, our rack, mast and base all on. It's nice and solid in there. Um, so the next thing we want to do is bolt our top bar on. Now the easiest way to do that is to actually uh, take the mounting plates which we've got here. So there's two of them. And actually bolt them onto the top bar before you lift it up onto the rack. So we'll just do that now. Okay, so we've got our uh, two top bar mounting plates. You'll notice one of them's got a bungee button on. So that is the one that goes at the front. Um, so that's the side where uh, all the other bungee buttons are. And we've got our two uh, M12 by 75mm bolts with a washer on, so I've put them on. Uh, and so I'm just going to uh, bolt both plates on, uh, ready to mount it onto the rack. got our top bar with the mounting plates uh, bolted on but not tightly just uh, to the point where they're on but not uh, done up real tight so we're ready to do bolt it onto the mast so we've slipped it up there's two holes at the top of the mast which will automatically line up I've got my bolts all ready to go so they'll fit straight through uh, so that'll sit there happily uh, and we just put the washer and the nut on the other side and our top bar is ready to tighten up. Okay, we're ready to do it up. So I've got uh, my 19mm spanners. Be done with a 
any crescent or 90 mil spanner or 90 mil socket doesn't really matter so at this point you just do them tight but not not real tight we'll tighten them right up at the end once we've done these uh, two at the top here okay so i've got the rack reasonably tight but uh i just want to get it all set right before i do the final tension uh, now with the shape of the top bar there's more weight on the left hand side so it tends to pull down slightly on that side before you do them up so i'm just going to tweak it up and i know from experience that it'll be sitting flat now uh, and we're ready to do the final tension now these do need to be reasonably tight it does rely on uh, the tension of these bolts being reasonably tight just to hold everything nice and rigid in place Okay, so that's on the final thing we need to do it, it is provided with a uh, 10 mil eye bolt that goes through the center here, which uh, can be used to hook a support strap to so we'll just put that on Now when you get the eye bolt, uh, it'll probably have two washers and a nut depending on which supplier we've used I've already uh, removed that nut and put it in on the right position. So you need to take the nut off and have that on first, as you can see here, uh, with one washer. That goes through on your vehicle side um, with a washer and a lock nut on the back side. And then we will do that up uh, at the end. Okay, so our top bar is on. Okay, the last thing you want to do is bolt on your bottom bar. Uh, so it's provided with two M10 by 70 mil bolts to bolt the bottom bar on. So it's just a case of putting those through the two mounting holes. Uh, the rack has a series of holes here just to allow, there's actually three different positions you can bolt it on. We just recommend starting with the middle position. It's the best fit for most bikes. So just a case of uh, lining up the two holes and putting it on. Just take our two 17mm spanners and do this up. This doesn't have to be done up real super tight um, to stay in place, so just be careful not to over tighten it because you may uh, distort the mask slightly. Okay, so the last thing we want to do uh, is just tighten up our eye bolt and then we have got a rack ready to go. I'll just tighten it up using a screwdriver just to stop it turning and a 17mm uh, spanner. Okay, so there it is, tightened. I like to sort of try and position it so it's sort of nice and straight, which is pretty much there. Uh, so there we have it, there's our rock rack, vertical bike rack, all assembled and ready to use.